from land to sea, you could be miles and miles away from a special someone that you just haven't met. But have you ever felt there was that soulmate for you out there? The one you're so desperately searching for that you would be willing to do whatever it takes to be with them. Accept the differences despite how the world would treat them and would protect them. Bai Lin and Li Yun is a story about two lovers that come from opposite worlds. A comedic, lighthearted, story-driven love story. A human that's a scientist and what could be considered a mermaid. They come together by fate and go behind the world to keep it secret that could separate them forever. Discovering what seemed to be a bright silvered fish creature in the Antarctic, this human discovers that it's injured by an arrow. Luckily, being profound in the knowledge of medicine, he's able to take care of this mysterious creature. This human is kind and caring towards this creature and lets it go as it swims after he tries to communicate with it. This creature returns capturing a fish blushing by returning the favor of how he helped them. It's by episode 6 continuously having a one-off conversation, this human decides to name the creature Bai Lin, referring to his scales, and also revealing his name is Li. Yun. This creature doesn't seem to speak and doesn't seem to understand his words, but moves off of his expressions. But by episode 8, Bai Lin is able to move on cold floors that Li Yun can walk on and starts interacting with Li Yun's stuff. Some could say Bai Lin wanted to be a part of his world. No, uh, okay, I'm Koji. No, okay, I'll stop. I'll stop. Sorry, 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 sorry. By episode 9, Li Yun has decided to take Bai Lin home to do research to understand it for his own experience. And he feels as if if he publicizes it, he would be putting Bai Lin at risk of becoming some kind of circus animal and be taken away from him. He didn't say that, but that's what I think he's thinking. By episode 10, Bai Lin is making nice gestures once again, leaving him more and more fish. They're pretty much getting comfortable. Bai Lin literally made ice sculptures of Li Yun, so there's a feeling towards Li Yun. Li Yun is obviously confused by this scenario, but for those who read, we already know Bai Lin sees him as a soulmate. But by episode 15, we learn Li Yun has to leave after being reminded by his upcoming flight, and Bai Lin doesn't want him to go. Li Yun leaves saddened, but leaves his glove. As he departures, we learned Bai Lin once had a family at one point, but now is all alone, and the only thing he had was a glove of Li Yun. News update. Bai Lin is caught on camera coming on to shore and Li Yun catches it on his monitor. Li Yun books it and comes across and get him to hide. Bai Lin is acting out throwing his glove out, but Li Yun tries to swim for his glove wondering if Bai Lin is mad at him, and out of nowhere, Li Yun swims and pins him to the seafloor. Bai Lin realizes after nearly drowning him, it's him, and even hugs him. Li Yun carries him to his car and decides to take him home. Bai Lin is placed inside of a cold bathtub in order to possibly take care of him for a while. So it's kind of like, oh my god, Leon is like probably skipping showers. Ew! Leon throughout these next few episodes is taking care of Bai Lin and decides to crawl out and discover the jacket Leon wore when they first met and decides to sleep in it. This is adorable and we really have to understand Bai Lin was literally alone. Like had no one but themselves for so long. So now that they have the opportunity to have someone, it's like the best thing since sliced bread for them. By episode 29, we learn about Leon's lab tech partner, his life outside of Bai Lin, and one of the characters seems to like Leon. Put a finger down if you give a f Exactly. I said the same thing. I report him to HR before anything could happen. But that doesn't really go anywhere, thankfully. These two are already too cute for some, like, dramatic love triangle, and it's too lighthearted, the story is, so yeah. By episode 30, something very random occurs. After these two are not able to really communicate verbally, Bai Lin just hops up and kisses Leon on the mouth. After Leon was wishing he could understand him, well, boom, Leon can now understand him. Okay, Starfire, I see you. By episode 31, Bai Lin is communicating with him telepathically. We learn his people can automatically communicate, but for someone to communicate outside of his blood, they would have to kiss them. But there's another thing, they have to be soulmates with them. This really catches Leon off guard because that's a very big statement for humans, obviously. It's necessarily like Bai Lin's asking him out, but it's meant to be? And it's a cute moment. Bai Lin thinks of overflowing the entire house to think Leon can stay with him together forever after he's gone to work. And Leon is pretty much just running around to take care of him, but it isn't until episode 37 and 38, Bai Lin is scratching off his scale sporadically after being frightened by sea whales, and Leon notices and thinks he might need to go back in the water, and tries to carry him until he sprouts legs. I guess that kinda solves Bai Lin's problem with wanting to be with Leon forever, I guess? So now he's trying to take care of Bai Lin by putting him in water, but nothing really happens. Back at the lab with the lovely duo, Leon even purchased a large tank for Bai Lin so he can keep him close. In the latest episode, Leon invites the duo that we see and explains everything to them, and they are all fascinated in trying to understand 
understand by Lin. Leon understands telepathically, he has to stare and think to direct his thoughts towards him to Bai Lin. It's pretty awkward for other people to see them communicate by just staring at each other. By episode 47, Bai Lin's lab partners are starting to study and understand this mysterious creature, but that's currently where the series is at. Leon now has to keep a secret of what Bai Lin is with his partners in order to not be ripped apart. Random beings now have emotional ties and Bai Lin is learning how to operate in the human world, but will his tail ever come back? I do wonder about the history of his family though. Did they perish? Was it like a coming of age and he had to be alone? I have a lot of weird mythical questions, but I understand this is supposed to be a lighthearted series. I came to the series off of The Reaper and The Waiting, which is by the same author. It follows the same humanism and floaty different creature formula they have with the series, with their series, but that one has a bit of a darker tone. It's like a deja vu love story and past lover relationship and they reunite. I started that before this and fell in love with it, so I personally recommend it 100% to you if you like this. But this mysterious being has so much to offer to the world in Li Yun. While they both romantically blossom, they're both in a sense figuring each other out. Their shenanigans are adorable. If this sounds like your type of drift, I'd say go for it. Soulmates forever that even land and sea come together.